hello, hello, and welcome to episode 9 of our American Truck Simulator journey. Uh, today's job, we're going to be carting a reservoir tank, 22,500 pounds, from Carry, where we finished our last job, to Santa Fe, it's just a short journey, about 290 miles. I'm going to get $4,000 from this job. I had the choice of three jobs from this base where we're at. But I decided to take this one because it's the shortest distance. The other two were on the um, west side of Arizona. What do you know is <coughs> we'll jump into the cab and we'll get on our way. I know there's not been any videos released for a few weeks because I've been full of a cold and I don't like doing videos when I'm ill. Let's just rest and recuperate. But I'm back now, back on farm. A little bit nasally. junction ah. Got a little bit nasally but a lot better than I was the three days ago Unfortunately, I've still had to go to work. like what you see, you keep liking these trucks, see me travel around America, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe notification. Hit the bell notification for any further publications and if you smash that like button, give me a big thumbs up. Helps me out a great deal.
Bob's Burgers. Speaking of burgers, I took my missus out yesterday, which today is Wednesday. Uh, it was a birthday celebration for her. And how non restaurant chain, pub chain, restaurant. She ordered Hex chicken burger. Oh, she not a big one for spicy food as it is. It was just there wasn't a lot of chicken in it. Chicken burger that was nachos, grilled melted cheese, jalapenos. We took our 13 year old daughter with us and he asked for a taste of a burger not knowing that there was jalapenos on it and needless to say that my glass of cola, what I had, didn't last long. Burn to my throat. We made a day of it. Enjoy going out for meals. It's not been easy because a couple of weeks ago our oven broke down on us. So we had to purchase a new oven. Which I installed yesterday whilst the missus was out having her nails done. He's got a tattoo on a shoulder, a little shoulder piece. Put into the tattooist having a foo dog on on a chest. It, it, it is a bit of a it is a striking piece. And you see what she's had done, but we've not had an easy, easy ride of it. This is the third tattooist that has um, worked on her, on her shoulder. But there's a lot of vibrant colours in a tattoo. Of um, violets and pinks and yellows. And the first tattooist we went to, which was about 18 months ago, used all his own ideas. Didn't ask her what she wanted doing, used his own ideas, went along with it. And she has a couple of scrolls where she has a phrase in it. 
and this phrase has a poignant meaning to who when he finally uncovered the tattoo she wasn't happy because words weren't legible you couldn't read them they were that small the font was so small but once it's been done there's nothing that can be done about it tattoos are permanent you can only cover them up you can't go and erase them get it done again so I wasn't happy she wasn't happy just, just had to make do with it Okay, the second tattoo as we went to same shop but a different tattoo artist he only wanted to he wasn't happy doing colours to be honest I don't think he was confident enough now, this guy now owns this tattoo shop but he was struck off because he tattooed an underage girl he was waiting to have his license back we decided to try somewhere else oh, move and what this this tattoo artist did is all the work that had previously been done record it the first two tattoo artists it was it was dull lifeless um, third tattoo artist with a different shop he brought out all vibrant colours it looks bright and shiny and life come into it who was happy with that this is was happy with it well every once in a while you'll, you'll get some little bits done to it she'll add add something to it We started this tattoo two years ago. And it's supposed to be a full arm sleeve, and we're just just coming to get the full shoulder done. It's gonna be a big piece. They're not cheap, believe me. Tattoos are not. Up to press so far. This tattoo has cost me just over seven hundred pound, and there's about another thousand pounds worth to be done. Now I know tattoos aren't some people's cup of tea. I have tattoos. I've I've got three. Um. One of mine's over 30 years old, which shows you how old I am. It shows my age. when I got with my, my wife we've been together for 14 years you never ever dreamed of having a tattoo nobody talked her into it nobody asked her what she wanted 
just went out she had a couple of little pieces done and decided she enjoyed it she liked it different horses for different courses oh. if you've got tattoos just put it in the comments below just tell me what you've got I've got um, dagger on my left upper arm it's got a flaming snake wrapped around my other arm I've got a barbed wire band that has blood dripping from it Oh, it's cutting to me arm. On my lower arm, I've got my missus's name. Well, tell me what you've got. Yeah, I think tattoos, tattoos are a work of art. It's, it's to me, the body is your canvas. And it's a blank canvas, and you can put on it if you like. No, I, I won't go as far as I've stuff done on my back I'll have, I'd, I'd have stuff done on my chest I'd have it done on my legs I won't have anything put on my hands I won't have anything put on my face because those are your features and I'm not being funny people do see tattoos on hands and faces Put some off, and, you know, they look at them and they think ah, they're disgusting. But to me, they're just works of art. Approaching Santa Fe. Well, oh, what are your views? What are your views on tattoos? Do you think the hideous monstrosities? Or do you think the the cost is a work of art? People like them, people don't like them. Currently 11 miles from destination.
turning right. I feel like. Not left, sorry. On my left from right now. And right here. I know we're definitely turning right here. And we're just here. Oh no. Answer. But where are they want? Get out and have a look. Oh, there's a lot at the back of there.
Absolutely, one of
Oh, I'm so good then. Lost my bearings a little bit because I don't like reversing in the dark. Oh. One cup on the trailer. Oh, 201 miles. 29 gallons consumed. 30 gallons consumed. Apparently 1,300 points. Off. Oh. Uh, our next level, level 15. So what we'll do is we'll end the video here. We'll have a look at for our next job. Uh, don't forget, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Smash that bell notification for any further productions and give me a thumbs up and a comment if you want to comment anything. Leave that as it. Leave me your comments and your feedback on any of my videos. Uh, Hit that like notification, it'll be helping me out with that. As they say in Mexican, adios mi amigos. <laughs>